All right, welcome back to New York City, everyone. My name is Todd, I'm the founder of Outfit, and you're back for another one of our nine minute core workouts. We're gonna go in less than 30 seconds. We're just gonna talk about what the first movement is, then we'll get that clock going. First movement today are gonna be our pike raises. So pike raises, you're gonna get set up into mostly a hollow body position. So this is our hollow body position. Just have my arms down by my side. And then from here, toes forward, toes to the ceiling, toes forward, toes to the ceiling, toes forward, toes to the ceiling. And that is gonna be your first 60 seconds. So, gonna get the clock ready here. We're going in 10 seconds. Nine stations, nine movements. Your goal is continuous motion. We're going in five seconds with pipe raises. Going in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, here we go. So toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Toes forward, toes to the ceiling. Good. So for this motion, notice that I'm not just staying on my back and picking up my legs and then forward and then picking them up. Okay, so toes forward and then really rolling onto my upper back and shoulders, resetting, rolling up and then resetting, good. So just about 30 seconds and 30 seconds to go. The other thing I want you to think about is if you want to increase the difficulty, go from palms down to palms up. So now I got palms up, reach, reset, reach, reset. Palms up causes you to press less down through your shoulders and arms and so it's gonna make you use that core more. So keep going, you got about 15 more seconds, and then we're going into some plank ups. So keep going, I'll show you the plank ups next. We're going in less than 10 seconds. Starting in a tall plank, coming down to a forearm plank, pressing back up to a tall plank, switching in two, one. All right, here we go. So for these, make sure you alternate your arms. All right, so here I'm pressing through my left. Here I'm pressing through my right and then back to my left. If you don't do that, it's super easy just to pick your dominant side. It feels more comfortable <laughs> and it's a little easier, but you wanna try and stay balanced. So keep uh, alternating. Good. Once again, you're about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. All right, if you're seeing this one comes out, happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday, it's our first Saturday in August. Where is the summer going? Good. All right, hang in there. Got just over 20 seconds or so, less than 20 seconds, sorry. I'm gonna show you what's next. This is a new movement alert. New movement alert. We got in about 10 seconds. We're gonna do some side crunches. I'm gonna get my arms set up um, here, roughly like a 45 degree angle. And then start with my hand overhead and then crunch and then reset. Crunch and reset, crunch and then reset. All right, so again, my arms are like a 45 degree angle. I don't have it all the way out, but I'm actually using it for a little leverage to press down and then reset, and then press down and then reset. So ideally, bring that arm all the way back, bring it back up, all the way back, bring it back up, okay? You are just about 30 seconds and 30 seconds to go. Maybe a challenging movement for some of us. So this is where we'll work on um, counting our work and counting our rest. I'll demonstrate that when we do the other side. We've got about 20 more seconds. So keep going with the side crunches, and we have our steps coming up next. So in about 15 seconds, you're gonna be laying down on your stomach. Arms forward, arms back. 10 seconds, we'll switch. You're gonna contract and hold, and then relax. Contract and hold, and relax. We're switching in two, one. All right, here we go, here's our arch up. So contract and hold and relax, contract and hold, and relax. So, you're still keeping your core engaged. Yes, we're moving through our backside, our posterior chain, but you're still keeping your core engaged, so I want you to crunch down on those abs and keep them engaged all the way up and all the way down. So you're not relaxing tension through your core as you move up and down. If I do release tension through my core, you'll notice I can get much higher. So this is uh, no tension in my core, and then this, it's tension in my core. The goal is not height, necessarily, but keeping your core engaged and then moving up and down through that range of motion. So you got about 15 more seconds, and then we have um, our side crunches on the other side. Sorry, Brooklyn, kind of all on you today. Arms are about a 45 degree angle, switching in five seconds. Starting with the arm up overhead. Good, crunch, reset, we're 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. So I'm counting 
in case you need to take a break. Two, one, that was 10. You'll rest for three, two, one, and then you'll go right back to it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> got the sloppy ten. We're resting for three, two, one. Go right back to it. You got time for about ten more. We got some flutter kicks coming up next. Let me get set up and I'll show you what that is. So smaller than scissor kicks. Smaller than scissor kicks. Woo, we're switching in three, two, one. All right, here we go. Small kick, one, two, three, four. Nice little flutter kick going on. Okay, hey, if you're watching this when it comes out again, happy Saturday. This is our last month of summer here. And then we'll be in September. I'm here at the Outlook Studio in Chelsea. We've got personal training and small group workouts. Monday through Friday right now. And then we have that available on the weekends too, starting in September, where are we at? Okay, you're just about 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. To get through this, we're two thirds of the way through the workout, whoa. All right, it's been so good. You know what? It has not been an amazing summer in New York City. I'm just gonna say it. It has been way too humid all the time, but I guess it could always be worse, so I should be a little grateful. We got the flutter kicks, you got about 15 more seconds, and then we're gonna go to a hollow sit up. So you keep going with those flutter kicks. Hollow sit ups are gonna involve you butterflying your feet. Bottoms of the feet come together, and then from here, arms overhead, get your shoulders up off the ground, and then reset. So lower back stays flat, shoulders, reset, shoulders, reset, shoulders, and then reset. Good. Whew. Okay. As I say, <laughs> about the humidity here. I just broke into a sweat. So I guess this combo is a little bit of a doozy today. Good. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, when you get done, you wanna go ahead and do that, that's awesome. We have new workouts every Saturday. Good. Nice and steady, okay? They don't have to be super fast. Just pick a pace, see if you can keep moving through it. Uh, you got about 25 more seconds to go. We are finishing today with two static holds. Not one, but two. Lucky you. Good, I'll hang out with you for one more. Nice, very good. So keep hanging out there, you get, um, keep going there, you got 10 more seconds. We're going from a plank into a tuck hollow hold. Plank's coming up first. We're gonna do a forearm plank. Here we go. All right, so we got two static holds to finish this up. First one is this forearm plank. So what are you thinking about? Squeezing your quad, keep your legs open, squeezing your glutes, keep your, hip, uh, your hips open, crunching down on that core that I am really feeling after all that, especially those hollow sit-ups. And then here's this nice deep breath. Nice deep breath really can pass the time in a lot of things. So deep breath in, let it out. 30 seconds in, 30 seconds to go. Good, deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Four more deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Last two. In and out. Good. Last time. In. Let it out. Here we go. Going straight into our last position, which is our tuck hollow hold. Legs are straight, heels together, toes point forward, arms by your side. Same thing. Let's just settle in with those deep breaths. Deep breath in. Let it out. Deep breath in. Let it out. This is getting tough, and you need to go ahead and scale it. What I want you to do is the first scale, uh, the most scaling option is both knees come in. <clears throat> Excuse me, both knees come in, and then you're just reaching your arms forward. I think a lot of us should be able to get here though where you extend one leg, three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, switch, three, two, one, switch. Good, you get the idea where we at. We got 30 seconds. I'm gonna hang out here with you. That's two more big deep breaths. Here's the first one. Good, last big deep breath. <laughs> Oh man, um, I felt that today. I felt that today a little more than normal. So hopefully you did too. Sweating a little more than normal. 
Are you gonna come say hello, Brooklyn? Oh, what a pretty girl, what a big stretch. Come on, come up here though. And sit. There you go, good girl. All right, if you're as tired as Brooklyn is and you had a good little nine minute core workout, do me a favor, please hit that uh, subscribe button. We're on our way to 10,000, almost at 8,500. So we should be there by the end of the year. Every subscription really counts, so, so I really do appreciate you subscribing, appreciate you telling your friends and all that. Uh, like I said, we're here at the Outfit Workout Studio in Chelsea. We've got small group workouts and private training throughout the week. And then we start our weekend private training and small group workouts on September 5th, 14th. That's the kickoff of our winter season, which has our big community workouts. There are 20, 30 person workouts that we hold down at Willie B, down in the Bowery. Um, so that's all gonna be coming up. Uh, it's time for me to get out of here. I gotta get this edited and get it up. So we're gonna get going. This pretty girl is Brooklyn. My name is Coach Todd, I'm the founder of Outfit. Once again, thank you always for being here. Hopefully I see you sometime soon in person, if not online. Until then, take care.